Greetings, hello, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So today, we are gonna be playing around with the new Midas Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. I have been waiting for a brand to come out with like an all yellow palette for a while now. I'm not like crazy, crazy about yellow. Like I know like Teresa's dad and like Nisa love yellow and like I like it and I think it's cool and I was kind of waiting for a palette like this, but I wasn't like, jazzed and like crazy excited until I saw it. In person, this palette is uh, beautiful. Um, I know ColourPop recently came out with the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, which looks very similar to this. Um, so I do want to give this a try and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this. Just a full disclaimer, I did receive this in PR. I am on the Midas PR list and I'm also affiliate with them, which means I have a code. Um, and it's code SMOKY GLOW in all caps for 20% off your purchase. I do make a commission from it. It's literally the only commission code I have because I love the brand so much. But just know that like if, if you feel this is biased because of that, I totally get it. Whatever. Anyway, I'm really excited to play with this palette right now. I'm excited to see the different variants in this palette um and yeah let's just get started i think i'm gonna play with it first and then i'll do some swatches for you guys and then we'll get final thoughts so let's zoom in okay ladies now let's get information and i think i'm just gonna go into the shade zesty which is the lightest matte yellow in the entire palette all of these the thing i like so ColourPop came out with their palette and i do think that their palette looks really pretty. I think it looks really nice. Um, I'm a sucker for those nine pan palettes from ColourPop because they definitely have some really gorgeous things. Like I just got the Blue Moon. I did that one last week. I think that was Tutorial Tuesday. I also have the It's My Pleasure and the Ooh La La and I think they're really cute. Um, I was excited about Midas's despite the fact that I'm slightly biased, which I am, but I was excited about my Midas's because I do feel like the variation of matte shades is better in the Midas palette. While I also think the shimmers in the ColourPop look, I mean, amazing. Um, so I think it kind of comes down to what you actually want. Nisa, my friend Nisa, made a really good point in her video. We basically have the same exact opinions on it. Uh, when she was talking about it, I was like, that's exactly how I feel. Is the mattes are very good and different in the Midas palette. Whereas in the ColourPop palette, I don't feel that there's that diversity, um, but the shimmers are beautiful. So it's kind of more, do you need matte yellows or do you want matte yellows or do you want shimmery like yellows? Nisa also made a really good point that a lot of the shimmers in the ColourPop one were more of like a golden tone to it. And I agree with that. This palette does have that. I would say this is like a true gold tart. Um, and then this shade Juicy is definitely more of a yellowy gold. I think I'll be able to get a better feel when I actually put it on the eyes, obviously. Right now, I mean, that was pretty. That looks really bright and nice. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Frozen, which is just the true... This is kind of the one you would find in, like, all the rainbow palettes. This is, like, the true blue yellow and I kind of want to layer it on top because I kind of want to see if there's going to be any sort of variation. Looks like there definitely is. It's giving me a little bit, not a lot, it's definitely subtle. The differences are subtle but I think when you do monochromatic palettes, unless you're doing a color like red or even um, purple has a lot of variations, yellow doesn't have a ton of variations to it. There's only so much you can really do. Yellow. These are blending really nice. I really like Midas' formula. That's why I'm, I work with them. <laughs> I like their formula a lot. The one thing I think Midas could improve upon, and this is purely from like an aesthetic standpoint, is I do, while I like the packaging, like I think this is cute. Again, I agree with Nisa in the sense that I think ColourPop definitely beats out brands like this when it comes to packaging. I feel like when it comes to indie brands, especially with Midas, for those of you that don't know, it's run by literally one person. She does everything. Um, so unlike ColourPop where it's like millions and millions of people, millions of dollars, it's not really like that with this. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Bitter, which is that like mac and cheesy shade. And I'm gonna try to deepen up this outer corner even more. This one I'm not seeing a huge variation. Like I'm not seeing a huge difference. I'm gonna try to get it in the crease. So what's going on? How's everyone's week? My week's been freaking crazy. Um, so for those of you that don't have like Twitter or don't follow me on Twitter, you should. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I have a Twitter and um, I was randomly like scrolling through 
my Twitter account and like my I like to I really try to respond to people when they tweet me or if something happens I try to like be on it okay I'm gonna use the brown I'm gonna go in with the shade twist just to add a little bit more depth in here I do think this is a good yellowy brown though it's a good brown to mix with yellow and I was going through my like notifications and stuff and I, I I normally will like see it shows you who follows you so I'll see like a group of like six or seven people and it's like these seven people followed you and by happenstance I looked and saw Shane Dawson's picture um, was following me and I was like that's weird like a fan account like I I just thought it was like a fan account for whatever reason um and so I clicked on it because I, I was curious you know um and it was actually Shane Dawson <laughs> he followed me on Twitter and I uh freaked out couldn't really believe that one um that was like the nuttiest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life until later uh he actually personally shouted me out on his Twitter as like a creator, the, a smaller creator that he likes to watch. Um, so that was nuts. Um, was like, I wish I could like actually had a video of my reaction when I saw his tweet because I just, I really honestly started crying. Um, to be perfectly honest with you guys, like first of all, that's amazing. Like to, I, I think it's not even the, I know I've, I've like, I have opinions about everybody in this community, obviously. Um, but I did think it was amazing that he was a person who could watch my videos and, you know, how I have my opinions about certain people in the community. He still, like, liked my channel despite those opinions. I thought that was really cool. I am going to go in with this bright yellow shade Squeeze. I'm going to spray my brush first. This is more of a, looks to be more of a satiny shade, so I'm going to try to pack that on like in here. We'll see. It was really cool. Um, it was really exciting. I think the thing about it is like, I've been having like a lot of, I don't want to say insecurities, but it's definitely been, I've, I've not necessarily felt like I'm doing the right things with YouTube lately. Like I kind of like have been second guessing myself a lot and I've been like, just because of like, you know, hate, I, the hate has increased, which has been weird. Um, I talked about that in a video. I've been struggling with stuff like in my own life, like all of those things. I think I'm going to go with this gold shade, Tarte. I'm trying to put that all over the lid. This is a really nice shimmer from them. Super, super, it's got that, it's very like soft to the touch. But I've been really like second guessing myself with everything and I've been like, you know, trying to grapple with hate comments and what is honest criticism and what is just being hateful and like it's it's a hard thing to like grapple with and like what direction I want my content to go like do I want to do more commentary do I want to do more makeup like where do I want to go and I've been like thinking about all these things and I've been like second guessing everything and I've been like you know should I even be doing YouTube <laughs> not that deep but like I never thought about quitting but more like just like do I need to take a longer break like do I need to take a break like am I getting burnt out like what's going on like because I was starting to like it wasn't that I started to dislike my uploads but it was just getting like tough so I feel like to have someone of his magnitude who is truly like I mean he's so good at YouTube no matter what you say about him and what I like he is good at YouTube he's good at what he does he makes very very entertaining and great content um so to have a person who makes such good content that millions and millions of people love um, say that he likes my content, it just like made me feel like I was doing the right thing. I'm gonna go in with this shade Juicy right here, this kind of light, it's like a light gold. And I'm gonna try to pack that in on more of the inner corner. Ooh, I think that might be my favorite so far, my favorite shimmer. I think the thing about yellow palettes, it's all about like dimensions. It's like slight variations of things to give yourself a little bit of dimension. I feel like that's literally what it is. I like that light yellow gold the best though, so far. Beautiful, it reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast. This whole look kind of does. But yeah, and there's been some other things that I can't talk about yet that have been going on like behind the scenes that have, again, it just makes me feel like I'm like doing what's right. <laughs> I'm like doing okay. Honestly, that's how it makes me feel. It just makes me feel like I'm doing okay. 
and that is like the best feeling to like not be as self-conscious about what I'm doing because I'm like well I think I'm doing okay you know what I mean I'm gonna go in with the white I think I've used every shade <laughs> except this like middle one I'm gonna go in with sweet this more white one and I'm gonna focus that really on my like true inner corner but yeah that's been really cool it's been a really like nice uplifting week in that aspect this is so pretty that's a perfect you know what like I actually really like this palette so far this is like a perfect inner corner and brow bone highlight for a palette like this because it's it's a white but it's got a teeny tiny like hint of yellow to it. I really like that. What do we think? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of more brown to the outer corner just to give myself a little bit more a little bit more dimension to the outer part but I love how the inner corner is looking. The gradient of that yellow is beautiful. The only thing I'm thinking about this palette at the moment is I do wonder how much very and I wonder this about both of the yellow palettes how much variation you could get out of something like this um but again I think that's just because of the color yellow like <laughs> It's a it's not a color that has a lot of very shades to it that aren't like golds or because that's a whole other color scheme Whereas other colors have those things. I mean, I think that's really pretty. There's a lot of fallout though I don't know if you guys can see that a lot of fallout wipes away really nicely though it doesn't leave like an issue Oh my god, I love how that looks. I'm gonna do the lower lash line real quick I'm gonna take my little pencil brush and I'm just going to go in with these two yellow shades kind of mix them together all i can think about this i don't know if you guys know who adeline morin is but she's this youtuber <laughs> and she created this she just came out with like a tart palette that was actually really cute i thought it was pretty overpriced so i didn't buy it but i thought it was really cute and she came out with this song called yellow and it's like <laughs> Me and my boyfriend sing it to each other all the time because we actually think it's really cute. I'm gonna go in with Bitter, this kind of mac and cheese shade. It like, I don't know, it's definitely a silly song. It's definitely a song that's more aged for like kids and like preteens. But like, it's just so happy. Like it just makes you so happy. The color yellow really does like brighten your whole mood. Just such a happy color. Um, I'm gonna go in with my mascara and stuff and then I will be back to do the final reveal. So that is gonna be the finished look. I will do a little bit of like a close-up montage real quick just so you guys can get every angle. But I, I mean, I love how this turned out. I think this is so beautiful. So pretty, okay. <laughs> Okay, so final thoughts on the palette. I think it's really pretty. I think it's cool. I think if you were looking for something that has these types of matte yellows to it, I think this is really nice. I do stand by after like playing with it. I stand by that I think the mattes have a different variant, have more of a variance than the ColourPop palette does. I am gonna do swatches really quick for you guys just so you can see. Um, this is Sweet, which is that white I was talking about. This is Squeeze, which is that yellow that has a little bit of like shimmer to it, but it's not a full on shimmer. And this is Zesty, which is a lighter yellow. And then we have, this is Juicy, which is that shimmer, the light gold. This is probably my favorite, Juicy. This is Fresh, which is the, oh, that didn't swatch good. This is the only shade I didn't use. And it's more of a green. And then this is Frozen, which is the like true yellow shade. Um, and then we have, this is Bitter, which is like the mac and cheese shade. This is the true gold shade. This is Tart. And then this is Twist, which is the brown shade. I do think the brown shade is necessary. Not gonna lie. I definitely think without the brown shade, it would look weird. So you can see that like these two, like there's a good variant here. This one, it does have more shimmer to it than I think is showing up. I think it's getting caught in my arm hair. This one is a lot lighter than this one, which is more of the true yellow. Um, and then this green one, while I didn't put it on the eye, definitely does have more a neon finish to it. The brown swatch, not great, but it definitely performed well on the eye. So yeah, that is gonna be my Trail Tuesday for today. Overall, I like this palette. I would recommend it if you're looking for something like yellow. And buy it knowing that there's not gonna be, it's not the most versatile palette you're ever gonna own. It's a kind of a niche palette for when you wanna do specifically a bright 
yellow look like the one I have on right now. I think the only thing you could really do to change this up would be to play around with like the shape of your eye. Like if you had done a cut crease, I could have done a halo eye, I could have done a spotlight eye. Like I think all of those would have made it more variant, but the colors you're actually gonna use, I don't think there's gonna be a ton of variation to it. So as long as you're good with that and you like that, I definitely think this is a good palette to pick up. Um, if you want me to pick up the ColourPop palette, that's something I'm willing to do to do a comparison for those of you who are wondering. However, I believe there's already some people that have done that on YouTube. So if you wanna go check out theirs, <laughs> I don't I don't necessarily need two yellow palettes so I'm kind of like on the fence of if I would do that or not but if it's something you guys really want to see I definitely would um and yeah that's a little yellow little yellow moment um I love you guys so much I hope you like this video if you did please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither honestly just so happy you're here watching me thank you so much for being here my merch my social media and everything I'm wearing on my face will be linked down below along with this palette in my code smoky glow that rhymed oh my god <laughs> I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!